welcome back to a brand new video so i thought we can go on like a little drive today like i don't even know where i'm gonna go but i am gonna go driving i think i need to go get some petrol because i'm like I'm, I'm almost out um so yeah i think i want to go get something to eat as well like i am a bit hungry um and i think i oh god obviously that that's a learner no offense you're welcome um but yeah anyways i think i'm gonna go get something to eat and then i think i am just gonna go and get a starbucks because i am starving like when i say i'm starving you better believe i'm starving hmm. i absolutely hate coming out of my street because it's so dangerous like i always get someone either beeping at me or coming down my area at like 40 miles per hour so I've literally got to be so careful coming out of my street like I live in like a little bit of like a busy area so yeah I've got to be careful but yeah I just, want, I just wanted to know if you're like what you're all doing today you all having like a nice chill day or you all, are you all out with your friends or, or whatever I've had such a real like weird day today so I woke up quite early um well yeah I yeah, I did wake up quite early. And then I was that tired, I fell back to sleep and I just don't know what's going on at the minute, but I'm struggling to sleep so much. Like, I just don't know why, but I just cannot physically sleep. Like, I'm waking up so tired that I go back to sleep and then I'm back to sleep till about 11, 10. And I'm waking up at like 7, 8 and I just cannot keep my eyes open. So I am literally having to like, you know, go back to sleep for an hour which i absolutely hate doing i hate waking up and then going like back to sleep because i'm wasting the day away and, and i hate doing that so yeah i mean i was literally gonna go get my nails done yesterday but I, honestly to be honest i couldn't be asked i hate how awful they feel after as well like how sore your nails feel so i was like no screw that i can't be bothered um so yeah i just thought today i will do a little come drive with me um I'll show you what i get up to which is probably well which is definitely not much <laughs> um but yeah i am absolutely starving so i'm gonna go get a mcdonald's i might even go get well yeah i'm definitely gonna go, go get a starbucks i've not had a coffee today either so yeah can i go is that all right no fair enough people are so rude down here like all you've got to do is just let someone go like is that too much to ask for oh vans do my head in as well they're just rude in itself Whenever you are ready, that's brilliant, thanks. I'm probably like the most road rage person ever. Like, I just can't cope with slow cars. I can't cope with people who constantly let people out. And I'm just like, God, just drive. Like, since I've been driving, I've probably been the worst driver ever because I just get angry at the most smallest things. But yeah, I've genuinely like started to like take more interest on my YouTube now than what I used to. So, what I'm doing now is that I am literally just taking more effort and time to put in my YouTube. Like, I put my YouTube on my social media the other night, no, last night, and it, I literally received like a hundred and something subscribers, and I was like, oh my god. Like, I was just like really, really anxious to put it out there because I just, I'm not scared about what people think of me, but at the same time i'm just like I don't, want, I, I don't want people to like take the piss or anything like it's just a hobby and i i absolutely love speaking on here and i've made some amazing friends as well so that's also a bonus um so yeah i've um i've finally figured out how to like how to put like properly put a banner on my youtube like a cover photo so i've done that this morning and it, i've started to like organize my photos well like my videos and like my color scheme properly and like more like efficiently if that makes sense so yeah i have done that today um but yeah i feel like i've been pretty productive already considering like i, I woke up at like 10. like i think 10 o'clock to me is quite late because I'm, I'm not used to waking up at, like, at that time whatsoever um but yeah i absolutely hate waking up at that time like i just think it's a proper waste of time and i'm just wasting the day away i hate it it is what it is i'm back guys £10.10 10 my petrol was. I wouldn't ever buy 10p. I don't think I've ever actually 
got on the £10 mark since been driving and it's really, really frustrating. I'm off to McDonald's now. I'm absolutely starving. I'm, I put myself in such like a big mood because I'm not hungry. I just need something to eat ASAP. Also, if you've actually watched, well, no, if you've got me on Instagram or like TikTok or anything, or anything you'll know that I put like a little haul on about like a little haul on on makeup I actually got sent. Uh, well, I bought the other day from Look Fantastic, and oh my god, it's what I'm wearing today. I just can't actually believe how amazing it is. I'm not even joking. Like the Armani foundation, how unreal. God sake, I'm not gonna go. I am. It's absolutely unreal. Um, it's like, I thought by like it saying luminous silk, it'll be quite glowy. And I don't really mind glowy foundation, but because I'm quite oily, I didn't really want it to like look like I'm wet on my face. But no, it's unreal. I got like the um, the dark MAC mineralised powder as well. I did get golden sun before, but that was more of like a pinky orange turn and it just didn't suit my skin type at all. And then I got the Freck from Beauty Bay and I've literally never been so obsessed with a product in my life. Like, I am absolutely obsessed with freckles. Like, honestly, like, obsessed with freckles. I absolutely hate this. Like, everyone just, like, looks at me real weird because I'm talking to myself in a camera. But, you know, it'll be up my ass when I'm rich and famous, baby. Oh, Christ. Ugh. I'm getting more moody because I'm in more traffic and it's just not okay. I think I used the scales like just dis like discount and look fantastic and I think it took like my pay down from like 86 like 50 something. Like I'm not even joking and I was like wow, unreal. But I do get like a, a lot of questions on my hair. Like I like I've said before, my hair, this is an actual wig. It's like a synthetic wig, just until my hair grows back into my bob. I absolutely hate it, but Hair grows, so it's not like I'm kept this forever. Hair does grow. Um, I think it was just like a really, really silly mistake I made in like a heat of a moment. I didn't even have time to think about it. I just did it. And then now I am paying for it. But yeah, I mean, it has grown quite a lot already, which I'm really, really like happy about. Um, I am using the Lee Stafford Hair Growth Shampoo and Conditioner, and I'm also using the treatment as well. Um, but yeah, it's actually unreal. I don't, I don't really tend to like wash my hair that frequently, just because like it's never on shirt anyway. And it, I do have quite of like an oily scalp. So, how amazing is this like car stand? By the way, I got it from B and M for eight pound, and I saw one for like a fiver. Like I don't mind getting the five pound one, but I don't know if that was a bit flimsy and a bit weird. So I was like, I want one that, that like that's gonna do the, like the job properly. Oh god, can you relax my car? But yeah, and then I put this on my car the first day and it didn't work. So I threw a tantrum and it, I literally just put it in like in, in the box in the back of my car. And then I took Louis to rugby the other day and I just thought, you know what, whilst I'm not doing anything, I'm going to try and put it back on my windscreen. And I did and it stuck. And then I put it on again this morning and I was like, wow, I'm impressed. For £8, you cannot, you cannot go wrong. So B&M, hats off to you. I will be returning if this one breaks or if I lose it. Now, the other one I got was from Pound Shop and oh my god, it was unreal. Like it was perfect. Like I went to Scarborough for Louis' birthday. I went for like a little spa weekend, um, like two years ago, maybe like a year ago, I can't really remember. And it, I bought it for like that exact occasion. So I was like, well, I'm gonna need something that's obviously gonna be a bit more like beneficial instead of like just having my burn on Louis knee or my knee so I just thought it'd be like a bit more beneficial to like get like a stand and that lasted for a good pull of like six months and then I had people in my car for like a night out and it just went missing so I don't, I don't know if it got broke or someone just run, like randomly took my car stand out of my car so I, I'm not sure so I went all the way to McDonald's and the queue was massive so I went to the other one that's quite local and that was also like gridlock so i've just made do with like a little costa coffee um yeah i've just come back to the garage just to get like a costa coffee and i was and i was gonna get a subway but guess what the queue was also big for that as well so i've just made do with a coffee um i think when i get home later i will just make myself something to eat i've not had no dinner or anything i've only had my breakfast this morning so 
But yeah, I am so angry. It's turning into like hungry. But yeah, I just thought I'd settle with just a nice little, I think this is a caramel coffee. I'm not too sure, like a caramel chocolate coffee. I'm not too sure what you call them. But yeah, I just thought like I'd just chill in this car park for a bit and just talk to you all because I just don't really want to drive because the the traffic is actually unbelievable. Like, I think it is just like five day traffic, but I just can't get over the actual state of the traffic today like i think i've i think i've chose the wrong day to, to, to do a come drive with me i love love people watching like i bet people look at me to be like what the hell is she looking at i don't know i just love people watching um i'm quite a weirdo to be honest but yeah um i'm gonna test this out oh yeah um i don't even know what to talk about i just I just don't know. I'm too busy people watching. I bet people just thinking I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo. But yeah, I've got my Gap hoodie on. I've had so many compliments and questions about this hoodie. Well, this j sweatshirt jacket, no? Sweatshirt jumper type of vibe. So I actually got it from the next sale. So if you've got a next in where you live, please go check it out. I don't think they'll have the same jumper. But I was so lucky to find this because I, I was actually in the uh, shop for about an hour with my sister just looking at just like random stuff and we just couldn't believe like the prices of absolutely everything like there was things like being like put on sale for like fiver from like £40 and it's like wow that is such a bargain um, and then I saw this on sale I think it was £9 or a tenner from like £46 and I was like no I'm definitely picking this up so I ended up obviously picking it up I'm just going to put you down a little bit um, just so like you can see it a little bit more so yeah that's exactly what i bought it's so like oversized as well and i was going to get the large but the large looked like it could probably fit like me and louis inside of it so i was like i absolutely do love oversized clothing but i just thought the medium would look perfect and my look it does suit like it does look really really well on so yeah um i don't even know what i want to do tonight i'm literally just sat in my car thinking like what shall i do tonight and there's literally nothing going on in my life at the moment that's remotely interesting um but yeah i literally want to start like booking weekends away booking girls nights booking like date nights for me and louis but like i said i'm just gonna wait until we're allowed in like pubs and restaurants because i just don't want to eat or drink outside the weather's just too bad at the minute and it's just it's proper irritating um but yeah i was gonna go and see my friend today um, and we was gonna go sit outside of a beer garden and just have a drink i just saw the weather and i was like i'd rather just get really really cozy in my room put some candles on get wrapped up in a blanket watch a netflix film and just get a coffee um so yeah plus we was having like a new cooker fitted like today anyway so i was like i just can't bother to go out i can't bother to go and sit and drenched um so yeah I mean, hats off to everyone who does go and get drenched and sits in beer gardens, but I just can't do it, like, physically. Like, it just, it does irritate me, like, massively. Sorry, guys, someone pulled up next to me and gave me the most dirtiest look I've ever received of anyone because I was filming myself in my car. So I thought I'd just stop my, um, my video and just observe what he was doing and who he was looking at i was like do you know who i am leave me alone there's so many other parking spaces in this garage yet people are still parking next to me and it's like giving me like much anxiety so leave me alone about the giveaway i've had so many amazing like ideas that i just cannot wait to like share with you guys and i mean i don't think i will actually put like put little sneak peeks on when i like of my giveaway i think i will just upload it when i upload it i do have some amazing amazing ideas that i cannot wait to show you um but yeah i think i will announce the giveaway and uh, maybe like at the end of may or something um because i do want to get some really really good bits for you guys just for like a really really nice thank you because if like I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and obviously I wouldn't have the confidence if it wasn't for you guys either like constantly like supporting me and um, giving me some amazing feedback and just helping me improve my channel. I might have actually realised that my camera's a bit different so I've actually turned my camera like landscape and um, the reason why I, did, I didn't do it before is because my camera just it just kept crashing um so i had to do it portrait on instagram and then just save it each time and it was just an absolute joke and i was like no i need this fixing because my 
like my storage was literally just getting taken up and taken up and i was like no i need something doing but yeah finally got my camera sorted which i'm so so happy about um but yeah like when i was like just sat here like with like a landscape like my camera on landscape like if i was like filming a video or something for you guys um my face would be over there and my camera would be like here in the center and it's like well why is my face over there when i'm directly in front of my camera it, just, it didn't make no sense so then i actually got a little bit of advice off google and and changed loads of things on my camera settings and i did a little bit of a test run with this um this video in the morning and yeah it works perfectly so i was really really grateful about that and so so happy um i still want to like get like a like a really really good like vlogging professional camera if that makes sense like i just want a camera that's like that's not expensive that's still good quality for videos and things like that because my storage is so so high i need to go into my photos and videos and actually like delete the ones that have no purpose to me anymore um but yeah i am definitely gonna go home soon and i think i definitely am gonna get something to eat um i think lou is at the gym tonight i'm not too sure it is friday and it is like past five o'clock so i think it's already gone i'm not too sure it didn't actually ask me for a lift this time so i don't know if it's actually gone there with a friend or he's just had tonight off um he is meant to be sparring tomorrow yet well no tomorrow morning and then doing a rugby match tomorrow night but i don't know if he's actually doing both so we'll see but yeah, how cute is this top? I love it so much. And it's got like my Primark jeans on and just some sliders. Um, but yeah, I hope you've had fun <laughs> listening to me babble all the way through like a 40 minute video, how long this video is. I really hope you enjoyed the video, no matter how frustrating it, it, it has been driving around my area, trying to literally get into in mcdonald's and i just couldn't and it just it's really annoyed me because i i've been craving it for absolute days and it's just like oh i could do with like a mcdonald's today i thought it was like the perfect opportunity to go out go and do a come drive with me and do like a, a little video eating mcdonald's or something um but no the queues are huge and i am not paying like two pounds something for delivery when i drive and when i can easily easily just go pick it up like it, it's just a waste of two pound really it's just a waste of money yeah so i thought i'd settle up with a cute little costa cup instead yeah, i'm on the way home now so i thought you can come along with me and sit in the traffic with me and listen to me babble on about random shite i've got a you jerkin obviously i'll wait for you i've got no choice but just on the way home anyway um that costa coffee was a little bit too chocolatey i don't think i've mixed it properly it made me feel a little bit sick i don't have time to wait for you but yeah on the way home now um but yeah that costa coffee was a bit strong and chocolatey for me like, i don't mind them being like that but oh i don't think i've mixed it in properly and i've just got like the worst Ugh, like the worst aftertaste in the world and now I feel so sick but yeah I am so hungry I know that I keep going about it but I can't help it oh my god can you go any slower there's no traffic around there I don't even know what I'm gonna have like I think it's like close to like tea time so there's no point in even having dinner now it is generally just tea time now so I might get I might go home and see what my mum's doing for tea and if she's not doing anything, I might treat me and Louis to like a chicken kebab or something. <laughs> chicken kebab, couple girls. Down here is the worst place to drive down. I don't even know why I've come down here. What an absolute mistake I've just made. And now I put, put myself in an even bigger mood than what was before. Oh God, I told you that coffee was a bit bad for my immune system. God, that wasn't good, that. What are you like mostly like what is your favourite like Starbucks or Costa? Like I absolutely love Starbucks. Thanks, mate. Um absolutely love Starbucks. I feel like I've just cheated on Starbucks with Costa and now I feel like an absolute disgrace in myself because I absolutely love Starbucks. It's cheaper than Costa and they do better drinks as well, so I wish that I just went there, but I was not mentally prepared. I was not mentally prepared for the queue and the traffic 
down that area. Like if you live in Hull, you will understand the traffic jams and the gridlocks down Clough Road. I'll actually try and, and avoid it like the plague. Like it's actually disgusting. It makes me feel sick. I could have probably gone there, but like I said, the traffic and the queues would have been absolutely diabolical and I'm just not ready to wait. Um, but yeah, it did actually throw down like a little bit before and then now it's like bright sunshine so the weather reminds me of my mood recently one minute i'm up the other minute i'm down bipolar i think down here is the most like loveliest street i think it's like proper like family orientated street and then the street was like on the news like a couple of weeks ago because someone went went into a shop for and tried to stab someone or shoot someone or something and it's just like uh, like there is nowhere to feel safe anymore so bad oh my god traffic right i'm never coming out again selling my car i'm gonna walk everywhere that way in this road rage is sky high today and i'm hungry as well so yeah i definitely just walk out into the my, like, my car if that was Grand Theft Auto, I would have smashed right into you, but I'm a nice person, so. I hate getting out of my car in cold weather, because I've spent like a good like an hour in my car with my heater on full blast, and now I have to get out of it and go inside. When I'm really, really cushy, I'm so cosy, I'm warm. I wish it was normal and legal to like live in your car and like just like make it into like a home. But yeah. What a wasted trip that was, but at least I got to speak to you because it was also really, really nice. Oh god, some Vaza. Um, but yeah, so I guess that was like really, really nice as well, just to speak to you guys and just, yeah, say thank you for all the help on YouTube and Instagram. Obviously, I've told you before, it's so like highly appreciated. My confidence issues, like at the minute, like they're just not where I need them to be at the minute. Um, obviously filming at home and stuff and I never ever film in front of Louis like at all like I'd never film in front of Louis ever you know I don't know I can't really describe it it's just how I feel like I don't know isn't that Louis like so confident like he doesn't actually care whether like I watch him spa I watch him do his boxing I watch him at a game on rugby or anything like that but if I actually caught him staring at me through filming i'd stop the whole video and i'd probably like avoid him for like three days i don't know i'm home now guys and i think i'm gonna go get like get in and maybe like run a bath and get something to eat because i'm starving thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it um if you did like it please give it a big massive thumbs up subscribe and comment what video you want to see next thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one